All right, we're going to look at today is a Tommy Pocket is a Tommy Pocket game from the 1970s. I believe this is from 1975. This is the Tommy Pocket Clown Catcher. So basically, the way this works is you have this little flicker here where you try to get as many of these little pinballs into the clown basket. But with an, and I'm, I'm absolutely sucking at this because you're supposed to hold it in an angle to help you out a little bit, but it's a little difficult to do that. And show you the video and take this video at the same time. But there's a little extra catch here. There are these gears built into this game. And here's a start stop button. And this basket slowly climbs to the top. See like the clown holding the basket climbing the ladder. So you're supposed to get as many of these as you can get into the basket before the clown stops. So just to give that a test. Makes all that horrible noise. The gears are running smoothly in this ancient machine. And the clown is almost to the top. And there he is. The click means it's done. Set it and forget it. Alright. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reset this. And I'm going to start it again. And I'm going to actually try to do it. I would like to try to... The right angle to... There's an angle, you're supposed to tip it just to help you out a little bit. The gravity can kick in. Yeah, see something like that. <laughs> the problem is it doesn't really translate well in the video. But let's start and we'll just do it anyway. Nothing happens, nothing happens. Yep, I got one in. First try. Two. It's about to die on me here. Three, four. Oh, all right. Well, I got four in. Four out of eight. Fifty percent. See, wasn't that fun? That's something you could, you would do in the seventies while you're waiting for. Um, oh, I don't know whatever the hell they did in the seventies for the uh, big oil for the big gasoline lines to. Uh, to dwindle down or for Iran to release hostages, you know, it's a fun way to, to waste some time while we were waiting for them to send the Americans back. You could play clown catcher. As a matter of fact, Jimmy Carter probably did play this while he was waiting for Iran to release those people. As a matter of fact, I guarantee it. Yeah, old Jimmy did. So anyway, it's a, it's a nice... It's a nice little vintage, vintage device. I mean, it's it's not a, a blockbuster of a machine. It isn't like something all that special. But it, but it is cool because of its simplicity, in, in my opinion. Anyway, I, I do like these these little pocket games and even the old electronic games from the from the seventies. The back had the instructions, but that's since that's since worn off. Uh, these can range from different prices on eBay. This was five dollars because it's kind of like a nothing thing, but some of them can be in the thirties and forties. So I actually like to try this again. Oh, there's one. And that's it, only one this time. I am certainly not going in any Clown Catcher Hall of Fame, if there is one. So, that is that for this video. Well, like I said, it's it's a nice, just little novelty item to show people. And they say, oh wow, look at you. Look what you have, you nerd. A stupid thing that nobody cares about. But I like them. I like them a lot. And I'm going to build a collection of them. And I'm going to show you guys. And you guys can tell me in the comments about how I'm a doofus and stuff like that. So, that is that for this. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video.